So let's talk about an important rule in probability called the addition rule. So to talk about that, first I want to talk about a little bit of vocabulary or symbolism, I guess. And that is, we always use the word P to represent the probability of. And A and B typically are the letters we're going to use to talk about events occurring. And then OR is going to mean that either A occurs, B occurs, or both occur. And that's going to be probability of A or B means one of the two or both of the two occurred. So what the addition rule says is it helps us find out what the probability of A or B is. And that is that the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So A and B means both of them must have occurred for that to be true, to include that in that probability. So for example, let's suppose that a room has four girls, three women, two boys, and six men. So let's find the probability of a male or a child. So I'm going to let M correspond to being a male. So males are boys and men, of course. And children are boys and girls. So we can use the addition rule. And that says the probability of being a male or a child is equal to the probability of being a male plus the probability of being a child minus the probability of being a male and a child. And let's look at the numbers for that. If you look at the males, well, there were two boys and six men. That's eight total males in the room. Out of 15 people in the room, that was 4 plus 3 is 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 6 is 15. That's where I get the denominator. And then plus the probability of being a child, well, there are four girls and two boys, so there are six children. So that's where I get 6 divided by 15 total people in the room. And then to be a male child, that means the person is a boy. And there are two boys in the room. So the probability of being a male and a child is 2 divided by 15. And notice that 8 over 15 plus 6 over 15 minus 2 over 15 is equal to 12 over 15. And you could put that in decimal form. You could reduce the fraction. 